This tale of Eastern Sierra history is episode 13, I Feel the Earth Move. May 18, 1980 was a monumental day in the history of the United States. After several months of bluster, a geologically young volcano in Washington State named Mount St. Helens literally blew her top. The eruption removed 1,300 feet from the volcano, created monolith dust clouds, flattened trees for hundreds of square miles, and sent a pyroclastic flow of superheated gas that in turn created a mammoth flow of mud and debris that destroyed buildings 50 miles away. 57 people died in this earth-shattering event. On May 25th, just one week after Mount St. Helens eruption, a magnitude 6.0 earthquake on the Richter scale struck the Long Valley Caldera just a few miles southeast of the town of Mammoth Lakes. This initial quake was followed in the next 48 hours by a swarm of magnitude 4 or larger quakes, including three greater than 6.0. Startled geologists also noticed that the floor of Long Valley had risen a dramatic 10 inches. Damage from earthquake shaking was most pronounced in the Mammoth and Crowley Lakes area. After the first event on May 25th, Mammoth Lakes was without power for several hours. There was some damage to buildings including broken windows and water mains, cracked plaster, and fallen chimneys. Stores and businesses suffered damage to shelf stock and extensive destruction to breakable contents in homes was commonly reported. Initial damage losses to schools and other public buildings and roads in the Mammoth Lake region was estimated to be about $2 million. Landslides and rock falls were common throughout the region, with one rock slide injuring two hikers in the nearby Yosemite backcountry. Huge dust clouds would form in the mountain canyons after the larger quakes, and ground cracks were abundant in the Mammoth Lakes area. The earthquakes continued for another three days, though not as severe as the opening salvo, especially because of the recent cataclysmic event in Washington State at Mount St. Helens, geologists were alarmed and the activity received lots of press. Geologists brought in additional equipment to carefully monitor the Earth's movement. Swarms of earthquakes continued in the area on and off for the next two years as scientists, government officials, residents, and visitors all held their collective breath. On May 27th of 1982, as the earthquakes continued and the lava dome on the Long Valley floor rose several more inches, federal geologists issued an official notice of potential volcanic hazard. The warning came on the Friday of Memorial Day weekend and the alarmed tourists stayed home. And with the Mount St. Helens catastrophe still fresh in the public's mind, people continued to stay home. According to the town manager at the time, Mammoth Lake's economy collapsed. In the next few years, housing prices were cut in half. Dozens of businesses closed, stores stood empty, and townspeople left to find work elsewhere. The seismic activity continued. In early 1983, two magnitude 5 earthquakes struck, and the lava dome had grown another three inches. Concerned there was only one road out of town for people to leave by should an evacuation become necessary, officials built a second road which exited town to the north. It was first referred to as the escape route, but the name was soon changed to the less threatening scenic loop road. The seismic activity eventually lessened, and the geologists withdrew their warnings. Slowly, people regained confidence that all was safe, and Mammoth Lakes began to regain its former luster. Overall, seismic activity around Mammoth Lakes has been pretty light in recent years. If you live here in California, it appears this sublimely beautiful region is no more at risk than any other area of the state. In a 2017 article from the U.S. Geological Survey, a noted geologist notes, the odds of an eruption occurring in any given year near Mammoth Lakes are one in a few hundred which are comparable to the odds for a great earthquake happening along the San Andreas Fault in California. So don't worry, stick around, because life is grand here in the Eastern Sierra. And if you ever do find yourself out in the midst of a bit of ground shaking here, just head to the nearest stationary store. It's the safest place you'll find during any earthquake here along El Camino Sierra. 
Okay, that was I Feel the Earth Move. We hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you'd like more tales along El Camino Sierra, you can purchase our books throughout the Eastern Sierra at many fine retailers and many locations here in Mammoth Lakes. Are they available here at Mammoth Earthquake Fault? No, honey, they're not available here at Mammoth Earthquake Fault. But look, our Facebook page and our YouTube channel is. That's great, wow. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.